In today's show, I'll be doing a countdown to the yearly close and be sharing the five things to watch out for in the Bitcoin market this week. And as crypto analyst Pentoshi shares here, got two Bitcoin bids filled this morning for the defense, have more ready to go considering the importance and risk slash reward of the location. I still on 49,200 and 53 to 55,000 range per previous charts, contested territories, and he also shares, didn't realize just how clean the Bitcoin chart is on the weekly, larger, higher time frame range, upper bounds 58,000, mid 45. 5,000 and low. 32k and he also shares here yeah i think 58,000 range highs would be the most defining spot of the next year and as rec capital shares bitcoin is setting itself up for a positive monthly candle close because bitcoin continues to enjoy price stability above the yellow 0.382 fibonacci curve support at 48,600 historically reoccurring bitcoin price tendencies continue to remain intact also be sharing the latest from philby philby who updates us here most of the time risk can be found in open interest price up open interest up okay price down open interest down not so bad prices down open interest flat slash up get wrecked and checking out the latest stock to flow multiple it shows the actual bitcoin price at fifty thousand seven hundred and ninety eight dollars with the model price at ninety seven thousand three hundred and forty five dollars also in today's show mexican billionaire ricardo salinas says buy bitcoin and new year's message Quoting him right here, steer clear of fiat money, whether it's the dollar or the euro or the yen, it's all the same. It's fake money made out of paper lies. Central banks are producing more than ever. He ain't telling no lies. Also in today's show, I'll be sharing an in-depth look at the top 10 most expensive NFTs sold this year, as well as seven NFL players that chose crypto over cash salaries. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ether, and many of the major alts are pumping back in the green. But where's the Bitcoin price? Likely to go next. Find out all this, plus so much more, in today's show. Here comes the news alerts. I drop a brand new episode every single day. The goal is to get to 100,000 subs along with a $100,000 Bitcoin price. If you like getting that crypto, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day just like this today's episode is brought to you by the ftx app formerly known as blockfolio i've been using this app literally every single day for the past few years it's the first thing i do when i wake up in the morning is check my crypto portfolio i personally love it because it's the easiest and fastest way to buy bitcoin ether and other top cryptocurrencies with zero fees truly making this a no-brainer and they're trusted by over six million people worldwide and over 200 plus countries around the world and have a special promo they're running right now where you can earn free crypto in every trade over 10 bucks here's how it works when you use my referral link in the description right down below every trade over ten dollars earns you a chance to get a random free coin and the more you trade the more you earn so what are you waiting for go ahead and use my referral link in the description right down below and download the ftx app today make some trades claim your free crypto and let's start stacking those sats shall we all right welcome back to another episode of crypto news alerts i'm your host jv how's it going crypto fam holla at your boy in the live chat now for the five things to watch out for in the bitcoin market this week number one bitcoin on the shorter time frames gently does it that's right despite concerns that thin liquidity could spark increased spot price volatility during the holiday season so far the opposite is true bitcoin is quiet but possibly too quiet the weekend saw a little by the way of unusual price moves with a brief dip below 50k subsequently returning to the upside and at this time bitcoin is hovering just above 51,000, forming a focus once more with limited action up or down and as you can see right here in this bitcoin one hour candle chart and for popular crypto trader pentoshi this was reason enough to lie and wait for more important fifty-three thousand dollars zone to return before acting as he shares here on crypto twitter got two bitcoin bids filled this morning for the defense have more ready to go considering the importance and risk slash reward of the location i still on 49,200 and 53 to 55 thousand dollar range per previous charts contested territories and he also shares didn't realize just how clean the bitcoin chart is on the weekly larger higher time frame range upper bounds 58,000 mid 45,000 with the low at 32,000 as you can see right here in this chart and main responded looks like a lower high into the range high is coming and pentoshi responded yeah i think 58,000 dollar range highs would be the most defining spot but of the next year so there you have it now for the second thing to watch out for in the bitcoin market this week stock the flow lives to fight another year that's right they may be facing a barrage of criticism but the perennial stock the flow bitcoin price models and their creator plan b refuse to give up according to tracking account stock to flow multiple bitcoin should ideally be trading at above ninety-seven thousand dollars this week but reality 
has other ideas. And we all know Plan B's predictions for November and December were finally off the mark, and he updated us more recently here. Imagine thinking a model that has stayed within one standard deviation band for three years has failed. In my opinion, we are in the same exact spot as March 2019 when I published the stock to flow model at the low end of the first band. Do your own research, look at the chart. Your choice. And Bit Harrington responded, the problem is the Bitcoin price range of the model. The stock to flow model is always valid as long as the Bitcoin price ranges between twenty five and five hundred thousand dollars for the next two to three years. And Plan B responded, true, it's a wide range and that can be seen as a problem, but it does not mean stock to flow is invalid. It's just that the stock to flow model is not very accurate. One standard deviation fifty to two hundred thousand dollars, second standard deviation thirty three to three hundred thousand, still very useful in my opinion opinion 2016 to 2020 have in period was 7,000 with one standard deviation 3,500 to 14,000 2024 to 2028 will use 1 million with one standard deviation between 500,000 and 2 million dollars so there you have it let me know if you agree or disagree with plan b creator of the bitcoin stock the flow model now for the third factor to keep your eyes out on this week in the bitcoin market beware the open interest time bomb that's right bitcoin spot price action could get everyone a headache on the thin holiday volumes but a key area to watch is derivatives as Philby Philby shares here, most of the time risk can be found in open interest. Price up, open interest up, okay. Price down, open interest down, not so bad. Prices down, open interest flat slash up get wrecked. And he also shares here, we'll make it a happy new year as trading above the 50 day moving average, which gives for a God mode combo. Now for the fourth factor to keep your eyes out on this week in the Bitcoin market, liquidity caution spills over the macro. That's right. Macro markets presented a now standard range of risk issues for the holiday break. These nonetheless also apt to cause greater than average moves. Thanks to reduced liquidity. As Peter Brandt shares here, chart traders beware. The last half of December is a time when chart pattern breakouts should be viewed with great suspicion. Many false breakouts occur during thinly traded holiday periods. Now for the fifth and final factor to keep your eyes out on this week in the Bitcoin market. Bitcoin melts faces when people least expect it. That's right. Bitcoin traders are getting more, not less fearful as 2021 fades as per the crypto greed and fear index. As you can see right here, we're currently rated a 40 out of 100 today in fear. Yesterday was a 37, last week a 25, and last month a 21 in extreme fear. And extreme fear is a buying opportunity. BTFD, buy that freaking dip. And as Samson Mao shared here, it took 22 Two days for Bitcoin to double from 20 to 40,000, 50 to 100,000 will probably be faster. And he responded to his own tweet, lots of bearish sentiment in response to my tweet. Plus, many can't seem to understand it either, but it was just 50,000 a while ago, which makes me think we're going to have some massive green candles soon. Bitcoin usually melts faces when people least expect it. That's right, so let's freaking go. And before I break down next story of the day, Mexican billionaire Ricardo Salinas says, Buy Bitcoin, a new year message, as well as I share an in depth look at the top 10 most expensive NFTs sold this year, as well as seven NFL players that chose crypto over cash salaries. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, everything is currently pumping and in the green, which I love to see. Bitcoin up almost 3% for the day, trading at about $51,400. We have Ether up 1%, trading at around $4,100. Cardano up a whopping 9%, trading at $1.56. Matic slash Polygon recently reached a new all-time high, entering price discovery mode, and is still up for the day trading at two dollars and 85 cents we almost hit three bucks we have solana up two percent trading at 202 bucks and binance coin up almost two percent trading at 552 dollars but all right now let's break down our next story of the day mexico's third richest person sent out a heartwarming new year message to bitcoin enthusiasts on christmas eve ricardo salinas recommended moving away from fiat money and buying bitcoin in a two minute festive video he gives three pieces of advice to his 957,000 followers on twitter as part of his christmas and new year message before asking his followers to retweet and share quoting the third richest man in mexico here steer clear of fiat money whether it's the dollar the euro or the yen it's all the same it's fake money made out of paper lies central banks are producing more than ever and then he pauses before pointing to the camera to say invest in Bitcoin. In front of the golden Christmas tree, the other two presents of advice that Salinas left his followers were to let go of jealousy and to believe in oneself, particularly when pursuing freedom and innovation. And it's no surprise that Salinas promotes investing into Bitcoin as a prominent Bitcoin evangelist since 2013, thanks to Max Kaiser introducing him to the king of all crypto. His Twitter bio describes himself simply as a Mexican businessman and Bitcoin hodler. Salinas aims to make Mexico's second largest retail bank, Banco Azteca, the first lender in the country 
country to do business in BTC. However, Salinas' chairman of the bank's parent company, Grupo Salinas, was left disappointed in June this year. And in response to the ambitious plans, Mexico's central bank stated that cryptos like Bitcoin are not legal tender and are prohibited from the use in the country's financial system. And in September of this year, Alejandro Leon, the governor of the Bank of Mexico, dismissed Bitcoin as a reliable legal tender, citing price volatility as a major roadblock towards full-fledged adoption. We all know this is nothing more than FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt as Bitcoin destroys the central banks. It is what it is, and it's unlikely to deter Salinas. He has been orange-pilling Mexico's 128 million people since the summer, and in an interview with Cointelegraph in January of this year, he shared his conviction for Bitcoin as a non-confiscatable asset. And in the interview, he also declared he bought his first Bitcoin at $500 in 2013 through Grayscale, saying that by 2018, it had been one of his best investments ever. He also tweeted in favor of Bitcoin remittances, which could potentially be a $40 billion market for Mexicans sending cross-border payments to the United States. So shout out to Ricardo Salinas, the third richest man in Mexico for embracing the king of all crypto. And before I break down next story of the day, and I share an in-depth look at the top 10 most expensive NFTs sold this year, as well as seven NFL players that chose crypto over cash salaries. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap. Sitting just above $2.4 trillion with $75 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. And the current Bitcoin dominance is 40.1% with the Ether dominance at 20.2%. And checking out the top gainers within the top 100, we have Voyager Token leading the pack, up 19% for the day, trading at $3.60. Followed by Cadena, up 17%, trading at $15.86. Followed by Stacks, up 13% trading at $2.59. Now, which altcoins are you currently most bullish on? Let me know in the comments right down below. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Everyone's talking about the most expensive NFTs of 2021. We're talking billions of dollars in digital assets, which have been traded for NFTs in various collections, which have significantly sized market valuations. For instance, according to dapradar.com metrics, the Axie Infinity NFT collection has captured $3.81 billion across 11.4 million sales, while CryptoPunks is the second largest NFT collection in terms of overall sales with 2.32 billion dollars. Now the CryptoPunks collection itself has a market cap of around $3 billion today, while the Board Ape Yacht Club's market cap is $2.5 billion. There's also a list of the most expensive NFTs ever sold and single NFTs that have sold for multi-millions of dollars in digital currency. This list excludes the controversial CryptoPunk 9998 sale that took place two months ago for 124,000 Ethereum or 529 million. However, that one does not count because the owner purchased it from himself using a different wallet. So here are the top ones which do count. We have Pack the Merge, which sold for $91.8 million. Pretty crazy, hey? You're looking at it right here. The next biggest one was Beeple Every Day is the first 5,000 days, which sold for $69.3 million, which you can see right here, followed by Beeple Human One, which sold for $28.98 million dollars, as you can see here, followed by Larva Labs CryptoPunk 7523, which sold for $11.75 million, as you can see here, followed by Larva Labs CryptoPunk 4156, which sold for just over $10.3 million, which you can see right here, followed by Larva Labs CryptoPunk 7804, which sold for $7.56 million, as you can see, and followed by Larva Labs CryptoPunk 3100, which sold for $7.5 million, followed by X Copy, Right Click and Save, As Guy, which sold for just over seven million dollars, followed by Art Blocks Ringers number 109, which sold for 6.93 million dollars, followed by Beeple Crossroad, which sold for 6.6 million dollars. Now, other notable NFT sales this year include X Copies, a coin for the ferryman, which sold for just over six million dollars, Crypto Punk 8857 for 6.64 million, and the Ross Albright Genesis NFT sold for 6.28 million, which has been fractionalized. The fractionalized Doge NFT is now worth $124 million, according to the top market growth over time. And Etherock number 72 has a market valuation of $18.5 million today, but didn't originally sell for that value. So there you have it. What are your thoughts surrounding these insane prices on these NFTs? Holla at your boy in the comments right down below. And before I break down our final story of the day, and I share the seven NFL players that chose crypto over cash salaries. But first, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 1,000 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also, some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including my crypto merch store, which recently went live. You can visit it at merch.cryptonewsalerts.net, as well as my daily letter, which goes 
out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day. To subscribe, visit letter.cryptonewsalerts.net and be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day like this. Help me get to 100,000 subs as my subs is currently correlated with the Bitcoin price at 51,000. And of course, you can follow me on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify, home of the Joe Rogan Experience, to Apple's iTunes. We're currently receiving over half a million downloads per month. And of course, you can follow me on crypto Twitter, Facebook, Telegram, and TikTok. So wherever you're at, be sure to follow me there. But all right, now let's break down our final story of the day. For NFL fans, 2021 was a great year. Stadiums returned to capacity. Crowds after 2020 season was shortened with limited attendance. Seven NFL players in 2021 decided to call the audible and begin either being paid in crypto or having their cash salary partially covered to crypto. These players have capitalized on the return of the regular season and the increased profitability of Bitcoin. Let's start with the NFL MVP quarterback from the Green Bay Packers. We have Aaron Rodgers, the reigning 2020 NFL MVP, announced via November 1st video post on Twitter that he was partnering with the Cash App payment service to accept a portion of his salary in Bitcoin. Rodgers will earn roughly $22.3 million this year. Like, whoa, the video depicted Rogers dressed as John Wick for a Halloween party. If that wasn't strange enough, likely by design, Rogers also told his viewers he would donate $1 million in BTC. And in Rogers' case, he still has a portion of his salary sent to his Cash App account, which he will then use to buy BTC. The Twitter profile, the star quarterback of the Green Bay Packers, features a picture of himself on the field during the game with the iconic laser eyes for their signaling his support for BTC, as you can see right here. Next up is Tom Brady, another very high profile NFL star quarterback who dabbled heavily into crypto in 2021. Brady has not yet said that he is being paid in Bitcoin by the NFL, but he will be paid in crypto by the FTX exchange and took an equity stake in Sam Bankman Fried's exchange and will serve as a brand ambassador. Let's go FTX. Now, next up, we have Odell Beckham Jr., better known as OBJ, followed by Aaron Rodgers' foot test by announcing in late November he had partnered with the cash to receive his salary from the NFL and BTC. His contract stipulates that he should receive about $4.25 million from the NFL this season. And next up, we have Trevor Lawrence, the Carolina Panthers' new star quarterback, joined the ranks of NFL superstars who are publicly accepting crypto payments. Next up, we have Saquon Barkley, who is a superstar running back for the New York Giants. Revealed back in July, he was converting all of his endorsement pay into BTC. As with most others on this list, Barkley is not being paid directly with crypto, but instead, he is swapping some of his cash earnings for crypto. Next up, we have Sean Culkin, Kansas City Chiefs tight end. He went public with his plans to convert his entire salary from the NFL to BTC, while others on the list committed to converting only a portion of their salary into Bitcoin for being paid for endorsements with cryptos. Culkin is swapping 100% of his salary. And last but not least on the list of NFL stars earning crypto is Green Bay Packers' Aaron Jones. The running back signed a deal at FTX to become an ambassador for the exchange in September. Like with Tom Brady's deal, Jones purchased an equity stake in the exchange. Jones will also integrate the FTX pay platform into his own charity's website to enable it to accept crypto donations. So there you have it. I think the mass adoption for superstars in the NFL, the NBA, and sports all across the world will continue into 2022. I feel 2021 was just scratching the surface. Now for a quick recap of what I covered with you here in today's show, I shared the five things to watch out for in the Bitcoin market this week, as well as Mexican billionaire Ricardo Salinas says buy Bitcoin and New Year message, as well as I shared an in-depth look at the top 10 most expensive NFTs sold this year, as well as sharing the seven NFL players that chose crypto crypto over cash salaries, but where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Let me know in the comments right down below. I want to give a quick shout outs to all the super chat contributions that came in around Christmas time coming from Bring Facts, Digital Dankness, No Money G, Tom, and Tough Cookie. Much appreciated fam. And now for the top three comments from yesterday's episode, Dustin wrote, you the man bro, seriously, wish the whole world will catch on to your show. Never miss a show, brother. Thank you for keeping us informed. Happy holidays, homie. Much respect, fam. Greatly appreciate your continued support. Happy holidays and happy hodlin. Our next feature comment comes from De Niro, who wrote, you are the real crypto channel. Cheers, fam. Much love. And our third and final feature comment comes from Half a Sheep, who wrote, excellent JV. Thanks for your hard work. 
Cheers, fam. One love. And to be featured on tomorrow's episode, drop me a comment right down below. But that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. That's right. Bitcoin is the glitch in the matrix. And if you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button, ring that bell, help me get to 100,000 subs along with $100,000 Bitcoin price. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.